Bande Guru Padot Dondo Bande Guru Padot Dondo Bhakta Binda Samanita Se Chaitana Devum Se Chaitana Prabhum Bande Nita Nanda Sahoditam <coughs> Se Nanda 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 Bande Radhika Charano Dayam Gopi Jano Sama Yuktam Binda Bana Manu Hara Van Chakal Pataru Vashaki Pasin the Bevacha Patitanam Pavani Bhavishna Bibu Namu Nama <coughs> Mukankaro Tibacha Lang Pangung Lang Hatigirim Jat ki pata mahangabandi parama nanda madhavam Brindavai tu siddhe bai piyavai ke sabasacha Shna bhakti parde devi sattva bhattvai namu namah Narayana namaskita naram chaiva naratama Deving sara sating vasam tato jayo mudire Shankitone kishno koto podeshe Gauri opatrusho prakaso nature Sadhanurakta guru bhakti yukta Bhakti pramodaksha jagod baran Deyam sada paribhagna mavishtado te tas padam siva virinchinutam saran Veta ti hum ponotopal bhavad dipotam Bande mahapurushate charuna rivindam Yat pada pallavana kachanda mani chataya Bispurji tokimapika bhavadushuadarshi Puruna no murti Saradika maikada kivam karusi. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda. Sri Adaita Gadadhara Sivasadi. Gaura Bhakta Bindu. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda. Shri Adaita Gadadhar Sivasati Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Ajanulam Mita Bhujau Kanaka Bodhato Shankirtanai Kapitaro Kamala Yatakshu Visham Baro Dijamaro Jagadhar Mapalo Bande Jagat Priyakaro Karuna Bhataro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ramu Ram Hare Namami Gange Tavapad Pankajam Sura Surair Vandito Dibbarupam Bhukti Chamukti Chadavam Bhavan Rupe Nasada Narana Ganga Taranga Ramani Jata Kalapam Gauri Nirantara Vibushi Tobam of Hagam Nara Yano Priyamananga Mada Paharam Baran Sipropati Bhajavi Shanatham Vagi Sajusha Badani Lakshmi Rajasha Vakshashi 
निशास्ते हृदय सभी तम निशिंग मोहम्मद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आलोल चंद कुल सद बनवांशी रत्नांगदम प्रणय कैल कला विलासम श्याम त्रिभंग ललित नियत प्रकाशम गोविंद मारीपुरुषम तमहम भजाने आलोल चंद कुल सद वनमशी रत्नांगदम प्रणय कैल कला विलासम श्याम त्रिभंग ललित नियत प्रकाशम गोविंदवादिपुरुषम तमहम भजाने गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवत भक्त डिवोटिस the bhagwat devotees he cannot be they cannot be that whatever the actual material thinking of this material world they are not at all getting imbibed in that they are not getting get getting entangled in that that bhagwat devotees they are not at all in this uh, material conception going in this material world what that, that bhav that kind of tension of material world is going on he is not at all uh, getting himself entangled into that that bhagwat devotees that they are not at all uh, running towards kanak kamini and pratishtha name fame position they are not at all running after that at all the the actual uh, the div- the position name fame position of this uh, material world everything what is concerned with this material world devotees are not at all running after that pratishtha that people the, the in order to just uh, satisfy people and just to uh, make them unsatisfied that they are having that equal and neutral which are in that the bhagwat devotees it means that uh, they are don't want they in happiness also they are not all the same and in uh, an unhappiness state or they are also on the neutral platform they are actually all the time in the stable position and equilibrium is maintained in their life it is not at all disturbed and they are not at all uh, actually busy in lok dharma ved dharma and all material dharma they are not at all busy and what kind of uh, lust uh, desire they are not at all becoming unhappy in all these conditions He, they are not at all getting unhappy in all these conditions and all the time they are actually with vipralam bhav they are doing uh, krishna kirtan and they are just getting uh, engaged in krishna kirtan the people will be speaking me that uh, raganuga book devotees and rupanuga devotees and will be uh, glorifying me this kind of vichar is not at all coming inside his heart at all bhagavat seva that is the actual wish of anugatya whether you are whether he will be doing bhajan or whatever he is doing vidhi marg rag marg whatever kind of bhajan he is doing but in but krishna bhajan is always the actual vishay of krishna bhajan is anugatya only without 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 anugatya krishna bhajan is not at all possible without anugatya krishna bhajan is not at all possible so the, according to guru varg the actual parampara the bhagavat parampara according to that parampara according to the parampara of guru varga it means that by the vichar of bhakti no thakur prabhupad that we have to go according to them that by following the vidhi mark maybe we can uh, come into that rag mark and after that kamanuga and raganuga this kind of vichar will come inside us so prabhupad actually speaking that uh, krishna bhajan krishna bhajan hari bhajan without anugatya it is not at all possible whether whatever you are what kind, what kind of bhajan you are doing krishna if on the jeevas krishna if on the jeevas 
he want to just uh, do mercy on the jivas only then it is possible that we can serve hari the if krishna will be doing some uh, mercy on some jiva by from uh, via, via guru vishnu medium then in, uh, in the coming uh, time he can do hari seva otherwise that even from the 14 uh, uh, even of 14 pd of the human civilization uh, back that uh, 14 members of our human civilization back they don't have they so much uh, maya and so much uh, instability and so much uh, uh, disrespect is there and so much instability he, they will be there and he'll be just uh, getting into this hari seva and he'll be doing hari seva in that nobody can just disturb him it's just not a matter of joking that you can just take anand in that materially because in our life when uh, in order to take birth in this uh, material world this actually shloka is written in this actually birth we have taken in a very uh, big uh, family that is also one kind of i am uh, taking it uh, one kind of uh, misinterpretation regarding this that i am from a big family i am a brahmin you see so this kind of conception i am taking so so just by taking this birth in a very big family ashwarya this opulence is material opulence is we are having this is also yashit and the panditya what we having we having we are having lot of knowledge regarding the shastra that is the kind third kind of yashit and i am very looking very good nicely handsome and people are actually liking me that is also one kind of yashit that the fourth number yashit is this this all this all yashit this all kind of yashit gop we have to just uh, involve in the gopijan vallabh seva and if we will not be using in gopijan vallabh seva then all kind of this yashit this uh, if we will not be engaging in the gopijan vallabh seva if we will not be doing that then what will happen that we just need to just uh, die by just uh, uh, forcing our uh, throat pressing our throat and and our and we will be just get killed by just pressing our own throat there is no kind of uh, bhajan uh, left so this all kind of uh, yashit what is there we have to just uh, uh, get involved that in uh, gopijan vallabh seva everything will will get uh, stabilized by that that without any contact with bhagwat sam without any contact with bhagwat uh, parampara that kind of darshan in place of that darshan if we will be we if we, if we are having that kind of uh, material buddhi material conception we are just making darshan of male and female this is this kind of yashit darshan there different different kind of instability and uh, will come in your uh, mind definitely it will come without any contact with the bhagwat uh, bhagwat darshan and i am having that material concept in enjoying mood i have material enjoying mood i have and i am just uh, making uh, this uh, material darshan then uh, uh, different different kind of problems will definitely come in the way of our bhajan at that time who can just uh, uh, help us out in that bhagwat sevak just by in order to have bhagwat seva if i want to become the prabhu of this material world that uh, in place of bhagwat sevak i want to become the actual prabhu of this uh, material world i want to just uh, get my kingship over or kingship uh, over all this material world i this kind of desire is getting in my heart then everything will get destroyed in your life up till this point that this is the topmost material bondage in this material world that you want to just get uh, kingship over them this kind of which are when you are having and you are having this kind of darshan that definitely you will get the topmost bondage in your life that's it in this material world all the all the people they actually want to become uh, seva in this material world this is the actual nature of maya everyone wants to become ravan yes they want to enjoy themselves 
Every person wants to become Ravan in this material world. That is the actual rules. What to do? That all the this is the actual rules of this material world. What to do? In this material world, each and every person wants to become Sivya Vastu. That is called Avashnavta. This is this is called Avashnavta. This is cannot be called as Vaishnav. That is called Avashnavata. That is he is Avashnav. He is not a Vaishnav at all. Sevya and Sevak. That kind of actual stability and equilibrium um, when it is maintained, it is called Yoga. When the Sevak and Sevya, when Bhagwan is Sevya and I am my servant, this kind of Seva and with Bhakti and with Bhagwan, this kind of relationship, this you are actually just uh, you are actually uh, relating with Bhagwan. That is called Bhakti. We that whole material world will be serving us. This kind of this is actually false ego. This can never become in the in the part of uh, seva. It will not uh, uh, get into that. The actual uh, seva is having with the topmost ranadapi humble mood. Then only you can do serve seva. Otherwise, seva is not at all possible to do. We if actually if we'll be hearing Harikatha also. If we are just taking darshan of Vigre and if we are doing Parikrama also, Kirtan also, Harikatha also we are speaking. But still, that if I am just thinking that I am the Savior, then everything will go into water. That I am thinking that I am doing, that I have the false ego, that I am doing that, that I am the doer. This kind of vichar, if we will be doing Harikatha, Kirtan and we will be just doing Shravan and doing darshan, Kirtan, whatever we are doing, it will all will get into water. Everything will get destroyed. Actual bhakti will not come. You will become karmi. This is the actual vichar of karmi. That is the actual uh, uh, vichar of an avashnav. So at that day, at that day, at that time, at that day and at that time, when inside our heart, that kind of a doership mood will will just kick it out from our heart and mind. And our all our power, that all our all our actually earth ball, vidya ball, lok ball, everything power what we have, every every power we are actually just uh, transferring it to Bhagavad Seva. Then only it is possible that I can get the topmost mangal in my life. Otherwise, it is not at all possible to get at the topmost mangal. Bhagavad Seva, how it is like? It looks like. Bhagavad Sevak, he is not at all speaking, uh, he is not a material platform. Bhagavad Seva, Bhagavad Sevak, he is uh, 24, 24 by 7. He is actually doing the Seva of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. He has this kind of desire to serve them all 24 hours. If, if uh, he just want to take rest, some kind of rest, then still he just want to just remember Bhagavan. Harinam and Bhagavan's Naam and always you have to remember Guru Dev Lotus Feet. That Bhagavad Sevak in in Sadhu Sangh we have to do 24 to 7 hours. 24 7 we have to remember Bhagavan and his devotees. We in total we in total will be just uh, have to do uh, remember the Bhagavad Pad Padma and we are actually believing on Bhagavad Pad Padma and we according to our own parampara. We are following the actual Adarsh, Acharan and Atikeshi, instruction, Upadesh, everything we are actually having confidence. It is actually all the symptoms of Bhagavad Bhakti what I am telling you. That all kind of uh, problems and tensions can come. Everything can get calculated and solved. What is the actual solution of that? What Bhagwan want? What is the actual uh, Vidhan of Bhagwan? We are just believing in that only. In this material world, those who are having this uh, relationship of uh, son and father, uh, ma- male and female, husband, wife and Prabhu and Swami, this kind of uh, relationship is there. In this material world we are finding that uh, we, this all material world Seva is going on. This word Seva, it, it, it is not, uh, this word Seva is not at all used here, but still what to do? In this material world, all those ma- wife, husband, that um, uh, mother, father, son, father has relationship. 
these four kind of relationship we are busy with and we are actually busy in material seva we are doing in the busy in the seva of maya devi and uh, we don't have any kind of uh, swarup gyan of ours we don't have our actual swarup uh, siddhi swarup gyan we don't have at all in this material world and we have just uh, made our relationship permanently with this material world and because of that we are having this kind of enjoying mood and we are just uh, enjoying our life with full enjoyment in this material world so whatever uh, you are seeing you are seeing in the first hand you are seeing it that it is very good in this material world what you are seeing that in first hand you are seeing that it's very good but at last the result is very much poisonous you will become very much sad and unhappy that this uh, this kind of incident i just remember by the in this uh, by sh- starting this shloka with you discussing it just by the kripa of uh, gurudev and bhagwan i was actually in vrindavan here and there i used to just go and bhajan was done or not i don't know okay what to do i have to do bhajan every no fighting will be there with me so what to do so one time i actually just went to shergarh and uh, from kosikana shergarh i just went there and from there that i have to just get want to go to enchadauji there also i just stayed there by kripa bhagwan in enchadauji and in shergarh and in shergarh there is a new building one new building made in that there is one not, not a devotee it's just a so called devotee and he is speaking that you can just stay here for 2 to 4 days and you can just take your own kitchen and you can take prasadam and okay i stayed there and he said that there is actually one uh, vidyalaya there is one uh, school so you can just speak hari katha there and he is speaking to me and in that building you is glorifying the is giving the glorification of this building what kind of building uh, glorification this is maharaj hospital yes this is hospital in hospital the definitely some disease that it is all empty this is just one what there is one story behind it that there is one person here he has just made one hospital in this village where all bed bed everything he has installed uh, whatever surgical instruments are there of the hospital he is uh, supplied there and uh, when the opening was there at the time of the opening at the day of opening at that that, that day what happened that his own boy he may be 7 to 8 years or 10 years old very small age the doctor also he just uh, making it on salary and there is an opening ceremony every person has come there and there two persons were like two boys were actually taking bath in yamuna there what happened that there they just jumped into yamuna and they don't know that inside that there is some mud is there and they just got into that and uh, on all the four directions they just uh, loudly crying that two boys were killed and after that the news came that the person who have just uh, opened the hospital their uh, boys were just killed and that's why this master what i they have taken me mara that's why this because of this this hospital is in that opening of the hospital the first uh, his own child just came in the hospital so after that he just left everything and just went away from there so you see what what kind of desire he has taken that everything by this he has just made the vichar and you see the actual desire of krishna what he wants so this is the actual life what to do this is actually called life if someone actually speaking that maharaj that what do you mean by sansar what is the actual definition of sansar means that from bhagavad ji and from here there i have just discussed this a lot of time and uh, this time i just speak that uh, the all the problems of the life material world you are just uh, collecting it at one point you just collect it at one point and like himalaya like a mountain and you just need to uh, fire it up that is called sansar in this if you will be just uh, doing raganuga bhajan in that then you have to do carefully otherwise you will get destroyed 
सो प्रोपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट That is the actually right thing. What is speaking? That in these four relationships, that four kinds of relationships, maybe in one of the one of the kind of relationship I have some relationship with Bhagwan. Then definitely he is my mother and father. If I must have left them also, still they are my mother and father. Some relationship is there. Out of these four relationship, I am actually getting busy in this enjoying material world, and my our material life is going on. With these four types of relationship, even if one relationship we are getting with Bhagwan, they are getting attached with Bhagwan, then definitely Hari Shiva will be done automatically. That is the actual uh, in this material world. You can just go to Vaikuntha Lok. This is the actual arrangement. You can go to Vaikuntha Lok just by serving Bhagwan, and all uh, Bhagwan Seva will also get started in this manner. In this material world, to go to Vaikuntha Lok, you are getting that arrangement, and to do Bhagwat Seva, that just by starting that, automatically you will start your actual Vaikuntha journey. And uh, what? And just to take seva from others, this kind of which are. and you you are you are thinking that you are the master and you are the sevak then the savior then definitely you definitely have to get attached completely to this material world and you just need to enjoy all the three modes of material nature that is definitely sure because we are not at all krishna each and every person is actually is once one kind of ansh of krishna like like some scientist what they are speaking they they are actually making what jet fighter or they with before uh, preparing some bomb or something they are preparing one model and that's why in we are actually by making krishna in front of us they want to we want to imitate someone we want to un- do anukaran of uh, guru vishnu or bhagwan we actually are the sevak of bhagwan we are actually forgetting this point we are thinking that we are the sevya vastu so because of that krishna is actually our nitya prabhu and uh, we are the eternal servant of krishna and we are the slaves and servants of krishna and we are the actual uh, nitya servants of krishna we are actually already uh, bought by krishna this uh, when we are actually forgetting that then kind of uh, definitely we are getting into the bondage of material material bondage will definitely be there that in this three modes of material nature will definitely gonna burn up our heart and lot of jealousy will be go- coming inside our heart and there is lot of uh, uh, sadness and unhappiness and instability will be there it will be far distant it will be infinity they and uh, some material world will just like uh, hell for le- hell to us rishabh dev actually speaking to his uh, uh, seven uh, to his 100 uh, 100 uh, sons that those who have yashit darshan definitely they will be going to hell definitely they will be going to hell because they are having this enjoying conception enjoying mood they have so that's why rishabh ji as actually speaking to his sons this point mahot seva daro mahu vimukta mubukte mahot seva daro mahu vimukti bumukte to daram बाई डूइंग महत सेवा यू विल गेट आउट ऑफ द संसार एंड इफ यूल बी जस्ट इंजॉइंग इट दैन डेफिनेटली द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड विल जस्ट बी लाइक हेल इट इज तमो द्वारम इट इज जस्ट लाइक अ द्वार ऑफ तमो गुण वैन यू आर एक्चुअली फॉर गेटिंग कृष्णा यू आर यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग इन टू दिस मटीरियल बॉन्डेज इन द शास्त्र ऑल्सो it is written there chari varna shrami jodi krishna nahi bhaje char varna that all the four varna ashram that if no person is actually speaking krishna naam in the four types of persons if he is there in the in the varna ashram if they are not at all speaking krishna then then definitely they gonna they definitely they must have done their own material duties but by doing that also they definitely gonna they are just getting inside that and in the in that hell and they will be burning themselves up 
by doing their own material duty also they will be just going into hell in rag varma chandrika also this book is there of vishnu chakravarti pad and those persons who have with a kantik swarup they are having a attraction for bhajan for them it, this book is there it is not for normal persons at all why because this braj bhav in order to get the actual braj bhav inside your heart that kind of uh, any directly or indirectly uh, that bhav if you want that braj bhav the actual pathway to get that in that uh, in order to get onto that pathway of braj bhav it is actually manifested in this book that this is the actual uh, bhagwan actually speaking this point that this also bhagwan already speaking this point etc the different kind of shastra by the different kind of shastra that bhakti is called is the actual pathway of bhagavat seva that is the actual pathway of bhagavat seva and there is no other pathway open for bhakti to get but that this bhakti that uh, infinity devotees are there of bhagwan in this brahmand and in this aprakrit jagat and in this material world and in uh, transcendental world infinity devotees are there and each and every devotee their different kind of uh, seva mood they are have their bhakti bhav is not the same it is different it is all different from each other and differs from each other it looks like the same because but st- still there some difference is there that uh, bhagwan has one desire that prakrit and in this prakrit and aprakrit world whatever is there slowly steadily all the jeevatma they will they just want to come to come to me they just need to come to me and they have to serve me and i can also exchange priti vinimay with them exchange priti with them this kind of leela bhagwan is doing our devotees that kind of you know they in order to give them anand that they are actually giving me anand in order to just give them anand i am different different kind of sevas i am actually just developing in front of them shila kaviraj go swami pad also shila kaviraj go swami ji also has written in shri jatan chetamrit in jatan jamrit is written that in the vishwadhyay in the it is written in ved shastras you are not at all understanding where is actually relationship that all the, after reading all the vedas that you are actually getting a lot of attraction all the pandits are getting attraction towards bhagwan and that's why bhagwan speaking ved i am ved only i myself is ved i am actually uh, getting uh, manifested in the form of vedas so that's why the in depth which are of vedas in order to understand that big big mahatmas big big mahatmas means that topmost suri gan topmost sadhus munis mahatma means that if he is actually pure pure, pure vaishnav he is there then he can't understand those he the if if he will not understand then who will understand so ved shastra video proyojan krishna prapo sambandho bhakti prapper sadhan obidyo naam bhakti prem proyojan ar purusharth shiromani prem pad tale hum log dekha that we have seen that krishna krishna bhakti krishna krishna bhakti prem din mahan इन चेतन जामृत इज रिटर्न मूर्ति अखिल निशामृत विग्रह नंद नंदन श्री कृष्ण ही इज एक्चुअली द एक्चुअल मूल विग्रह ऑफ द्वादश ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व रसा हाउ इट इज ट्वेल्व दैट दीज आर द्वेल्व 
Everything all this is rasa. Well, rasa. Bhagwan is actually is the topmost of all the rasas. Is if we are actually counting all the rasas, then there are twelve kind of rasas are there. There five are mukhya ras and uh, and rest are gaun ras. By by which are sanchari bhag by this we are actually just getting uh, like the case. That one personified form is just uh, came in front of me. That's why Shila Sachidanand Bhakti Nur Thakur. That's why Shila Sachidanand Bhakti Nur Thakur has told, has just requesting onto lotus feet of Rasa that oh Rasa, that you do kripa on me, you do kripa on me, you do mercy on me. This kind of uh, Bhakti Nur Thakur actually just glorifying Rasa and just uh, uh, paying attention, dandavat onto lotus feet of Rasa. And paying his prayer. That Krishna is the actual Mool Vigre of all the twelve Rasas. That is a topmost Tattva. That Bhakti is the only pathway in order to obtain Bhagwan. You understand what I am speaking? Just just by this clever clever mood bhagwan actually can get uh, you okay, you can get bhagwan mahaprabhu ji also speaking to rai mahashay while discussing this point he told this point to rai mahashay that that this that you just tell he, they, they told us like this mahaprabhu ji actually speaking this point Sadhya Vastu without Sadhan, it is by a clever mood, clever mood it cannot, you cannot get that. You just do Kripa on me, how to we can get that Sadhya Vastu? Mahaprabhu asking to Rai Ramananda, Rai Mahashe. And Bhakti is the only Sadhan and pathway by which we can get that actual Sadevastu and we can think of uh, uh, getting that Sadevastu, Mahaprabhu ji told. And what you have to do? That Krishna Prem, you just need to get that. By Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti and Prem Bhakti. There are three kinds of uh, categorization, three types are there. Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti and Prem Bhakti. There are three types, there are three stages regarding this. And if some confusion, someone is getting in some confusion, that in Sadhan Bhakti is there and he is thinking himself that he is very Siddha, then one kind of vivart and or confusion will definitely get in his life. Then his life will also get, get entangled in material world. That very difficult, very dangerous situation it is. So Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti and Prem Bhakti, Prabhupada speaking, that in all these three, in order to get some differentiation in that, you just need to make some differentiation and what kind of speciality is there in all these three bhakti, you just need to understand that. That uh, in the uh, topmost ripe state of sadhan, in that ripe state, gradual, that that gradual promotional procedure of sadhan, before you will get bhav bhakti and when bhav bhakti, when is actually becoming more matured, it is just getting into the form of prem, prem naam. Prem Bhakti it is getting. That's why previously I have already told that in Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu, Srila Rupa Swami Pad actually written. That Krishna Prem without Bhakti devotees it is not at all possible. Krishna Prem you can get. Like the, in the actual mool vishay of bhakti that krishna that is the actual mool is the root cause of krishna bhakti without that to get prema in order to get prema the association of devotees is very much important by which that uh, prema is possible so how actually it is written here in the shastra like this that Yes, it is definitely correct, this point. That Krishna Prem, inside our heart is actually there in hidden form. That is okay. 
when our heart is pure we are getting that association of sadhu and by that bhav when we will be serving that sadhu by that association we are getting automatically all tattva will get uh, manifest inside our heart you just uh, please uh, understand this point remember this point that for all bonded dear what it is written the actual swarup of jivas that is actually krishna das but but it it is not at all spoken like that this is not at all written there jive swarup hai krishna nitya das that is the actual shloka this is not like that why because uh, bhakti cannot get manifested in association of devotees in the association of devotees then only you can get bhakti that's why if some servant is there of ours and he whether he is serving us or not but still he is servant he can serve us but still he cannot serve us both the cases are applicable jeev is actually the actual swarup natural swarup of jeeva is to is actually servant of krishna he is to serve krishna only but he can't serve it he definitely is servant of krishna that is a topmost point but he don't want to do what to do in that so that's why it's already written there like that this point is not at all spoken this is not at all told like that it you were swarup and krishna nitya bhakta so now you just understand this point carefully in the samrit sindhu it is written कृति भावेत 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 साध्य भाव भक्ति दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ साधन दैट काइंड ऑफ भाव भक्ति दैट बाय आवर ओन मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन वेन दैट साधन वी आर डूइंग साधन this kind of sadhan in this there is one mystery behind this i have already told that bhakti devi when is doing kripa to us that all our material sense organs she will be just uh, uh, posing uh, us uh, on our, all our material organs it it looks like that we are getting one kind of motivation to do bhakti so sadhya bhav bhakti when by our material sense organs we are actually doing uh, uh, actually seeing it in the form of sadhya then we are speaking that as sadhan bhakti so when you are doing this kind of vichar if you are actually doing this kind of sadhan which vichar that all our material sense organs and by our material mind in order to do bhagavat seva it is not at all possible to do bhagavat seva like that if with that general vichar you are just taking up then what our material sense organs and mind are there by this to serve bhagwan and to do seva of bhagwan it is not at all possible it next to impossible but if we we'll, if bhakti devi by doing kripa on us that when we are all our material sense organs are just getting involved in uh, krishna's in sadhya vastu then we are getting that motivation to do more and more seva and at that time and that time this kind of sadhya will become sadhan bhakti will definitely is the actual natural function of the soul and when uh, it is there in the manifested form inside our heart when it is that is called sadhyata when it is there then you haven't understand what i'm speaking it is already there inside the heart but we have to activate that we have to get manifest uh, we have to get it into the manifested form inside our heart then only it is called uh, sadhya avastha that is called sadhyata when it is getting into activated form shila kaviraj goswami pad also written in chaitanya charitamrit just uh, be careful on this point yesterday i also just speaking speaking this point to you if in shravan kirtan etc they are actually vital point vital things that is the uh, topmost and uh, mukhya ang yesterday i was actually speaking this is a very typical thing but still you need to understand this point if you will understand slight a bit then it is very good for you there what is actual swarup lakshan of shravan kirtan etc swarup lakshan means that if shravan kirtan is there on the tongue of someone and then definitely you can understand per 100% that he is actually devotee 
other uh, other uh, symptoms you can just get uh, by the they can be the tatastha lakshan which you can see externally that's why krishnadas kaviraj goswami is speaking that shravan kirtan that uh, their swarup lakshan tatastha lakshan that with anukul bhav that kind of bhav which is there inside our heart with that bhav only if we are doing kirtan of that then it is okay it's good and with anukul bhav when you are doing shravan kirtan smaran that is the actual swarup lakshan of bhakti anya vilas tyag with gyan karma that by that we feel we doing karma then by that there will be more material bondage that he has infinity bhakti in it in him and there is no anya vilas in him then it he already have just left all kind of uh, material karm then only it is possible to do bhakti for him then only it is possible to do bhakti for him krishna prem is nitya siddh vastu and it cannot be it cannot be sadhya but still, in the material uh, in the manifested form it is important to just get uh, activated shuddha bhakti apart from shuddha bhakti if you are doing abhidev in other form it is not at all possible by doing shravan etc that krishna bhakti by only by shravan kirtan etc that when your heart is becoming vishuddha in vishuddha condition it is possible like that so by all the conditions our heart should in order to just get it more nirmal and more serene and stable we have to do it by sadhana bhakti it means that by shravan kirtan etc kriya that by the sadhan bhakti kriya that uh, uh, when you will be going forward that your heart will just get uh, transformed it will just get into a uh, vishuddha state it is possible to get into that and that sadhana bhakti that this sadhan bhakti that for both of them it is applicable if uh, if someone actually thinking that it is vedi bhakti he has to do and raganuga bhakti he also has to do the same then that is both both he has to do with full anubhav bhav he has to just hear that and slowly slowly by hearing that anurag will get inside the heart for bhagwan when there is no rag and anurag for bhagwan then he is actually just taking the uh, Uh, taking the rules and regulations of shastra then it is called vedi bhakti and when we are speaking rag when it is without rag that is rag hin that they are not at all doing bhajan under the guidance of prajivasi and they are doing under the guidance of strict rules and regulations of shastra then it is called vedi bhakti and rag when you are speaking then that uh, the topmost seva of bhagwan that you are doing under the guidance of prajivasi then inside the heart that uh, that actual natural actual rag hasn't appeared up till yet but still that the actual rules and regulations of shastra is already there manifested inside that inside your heart at that time just by taking guru pad ashray he that is called vedi bhakti vedi bhakti that is vidhi nishedatmak it is just 64 limbs of bhakti there is mentioned and in that topmost is adav guru par out of that 64 limbs what is the top most limb so in this association that all that sadhu sang bhagavat saman mathura vas and with shraddha we have to do shri vigra seva mahaprabhu has told this five kind of limbs as the top most are the vital ang limbs of bhakti what is that that sadhu sang is there the actual association of sadhu and naam kirtan bhagavat shravan mathura vas 
and and with full shraddha you have to do shri vigrah seva these five kinds kinds of limbs are the major limbs of sad sadhana that is the top vitals of all the limbs of bhakti that is the topmost mahaprabhu ji actually speaking you can get krishna prem you can you can get krishna prem like that and slightly that with full prem and preeti you are doing this association then slightly that association is there with this all uh, out of these five limbs then definitely you will get krishna prem and mahaprabhu actually speaking that so like this if you are someone is doing the sadhana of one limb and he is doing lot of limbs of bhakti definitely that prema will get sprouted in that sprouted form in manifestation manifested form mahaprabhu speaking that without nishtha that prem tarang in order to get that it's not at all possible it means that our chit vikalpa that that our heart that in coming into material less condition it is very much important in order to do prem seva krishna prem seva and now actually the question is coming that mahaprabhu the in chaitanya chaitamrit it's already written there they are krishna das kaviraj goswami pad speaking to bhagwan is speaking the vichar of krishna bhagwan shri krishna the bhagwan shri krishna vichar is just like that swayam shri krishna bhagwan is speaking in chaitanya chaitamrit krishna das kaviraj goswami actually writing there that the actual uh, actual upadesh of viduri maharaj and all those uh, mahajan jans that yesterday i have told this point that lakshmi devi meera bai nobody has just uh, under the guidance of prajwasi they have not taken the shelter of the prajwasi that kamanuga bhakti they have not taken shelter of kamanuga bhakti at all that what is there inside the braj dham that what is there inside the gopikas and other prajwasi they have not taken the shelter they cannot get that that's why it is written in chaitanya jagamre that is written krishna speaking that in this whole material world that everyone is doing vidhi bhakti only but in this vidhi bhakti in order to get braj bhav there is no chance to get braj bhav at all in vidhi mark in order to get rag rag mug bhakti it's not at all possible in vidhi mark sakal jagat mure kare vidhi bhakti vidhi bhakti prajo bhav paite nahi shakti now this which are actually is coming that in rag marg that braj bhav the value you are getting yes you are getting that just by knowing that also if we are actually this information we are getting that we are getting this kind of news and information that rag marg in that rag marg that braj bhav you can get easily just by hearing it automatically that inside our heart we don't have any kind of uh, uh, capability and capacity and adhikar and before taking that adhikar we are actually just uh, we are just uh, going against the vidhi marg and we just want to imitate the rag marg we have to we are imit- we want to imitate the rag marg and want to get into the rag marg without getting uh, following the rules of vidhi marg then definitely it will be a great danger for us that is called maha kapatachari dharma dhvaji that is called prakrit sahaji we are speaking him that's why mahajans under the guidance of mahajans bhakti no takur ji actually writing what it written there bhakti no takur राग मार्गे कोरान प्रवेश 
भाग बशवर्ती हुए तारकीय भावाश्रय लवे जीव कृष्ण प्रेम That Vishuddha Shri Krishna Bhakti, Vishuddha Krishna Preeti, that is a topmost prayer that in order to just get that target in front of us in Vadu Vidhi Bhakti, we just by doing Nam Bhajan and guidance of Guru Vaishnav, definitely slowly steadily that Rag Rag Udai, uh, it will definitely get inside our heart. After Anarth Nivriti is gone, after your Anarth Nivriti is gone. that atma's natural anurag towards krishna seva it will definitely come inside your heart otherwise that uh, that adhikar and anadhikar this kind of uh, discussion that whether you have adhikar and you don't have adhikar the opposite result can come in that Guru Padashre, whether you have got in your life or not, you are not at all understanding. This is actually all rubbish things. Whether they have taken the actual uh, sadhu association, guru association or not, that Guru Padashre just by taking Guru Padashre with that, that Ras Panchodaya, Gopi Gita, Brahma Gita, Uddhav Samvad, Vishnu Chandra Chand Chandidas. Krishna Bhavana Amrita, Chandidas uh, uh, writings, Vidyapati writings, that uh, all Krishna Karna Amrita, Shri Geet Govind. If someone actually is going to take the opportunity to do the actual taste of that, uh, will be doing forcibly. Then definitely, in the immature state, definitely he will be getting into fallen state. Definitely, he gonna destroy his bhakti completely. He will get into his fallen condition, and as a result, vabichar in his life, vabichar will just get increased. It will get maturity increment incrementation in his life. Shraddha, Shraddha is actually the bhakti lata seed. Whatever seed that kind of shastra seed is first required. and uh, without and uh, that uh, raga raga bhakti beach for that uh, greediness is the topmost uh, nutrition for that so they are in lobh mool that kind of shraddha is getting into them in that uh, mool if that shraddha is uh, is actually just throwing that and he is just getting that uh, uh, rag seed is forcibly he want to sow that inside his heart then definitely he will do aprad and by that automatically by getting shraddhamrit he just need to do uh, just by hearing the rasaadi leela of bhagwan shri krishna in this condition only by this uh, in that anuvarnan uh, fruit of that uh, uh, that the kama material kam of the heart will just get uh, removed when that aprakrit kam dev madan mohan will get that attracted towards that aprakrit madan mohan and that kind of aprakrit transcendental seva towards that aprakrit kam de it will automatically get get manifested inside our heart at that time that uh, ashtakal leela smaran etc and rag bhakti automatically will get uh, imbibed inside our heart that is not a impossible task then that when there is an earth inside our heart at that time at the time of having an earth inside the heart the about shri shri radha govind that kind of shringar ras leela and other kind of ras leela and very secret uh, leela of uh, radha radha govind just by tasting that then topmost dangerous condition will come in the life of a jiva and they definitely gonna destroy everything in their life there is actually no doubt about it definitely they gonna destroy everything in their life definitely it will be done so that's why under guru vanugaman that uh, our guru parampara there is no other pathway shown to us in our bhakt prabhupad bhakti no thakur Shila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhavan Puri Goswami. Everyone, they don't have told this kind of sahajya pathway to us. That from where this path, which uh, are has come to you, I don't know. That only in Guru Guru Vanu Gaman. That's why under Guru Vanu Gaman, that uh, the special, you just need to become very careful. 
and you just need to take the braj braj bhav inside your heart when you will not that doing that under guru anushilan then definitely your bhajan will get into dangerous condition and you will become a prakrit sahajiya and when you will become a prakrit sahajiya you will become characterless also not at all sahajiya but sahajiya is actually characterless only but still you will become more characterless so in this condition that uh, we have to take the ch- ch- uh, lotus feet of that pure vaishnav sadguru we just need to take the actual pathway shown by our gurudev that uh, topmost uh, pathway we just need to follow and with full anushthan and nishtha we have to follow that pathway slowly steadily our will be getting our anarth nivritti and then nishtha ruchi and that a uh, bhav bhakti then prem bhakti will definitely maybe today tomorrow will definitely come inside our heart apne ko for us in this material world that we are thinking that uh, we are showing that we are a very big uh, raganuga devotee in this material world when we are showing a very topmost devotee i am that kind of topmost devotee i am showing to someone that is the topmost dangerous condition in our life Shila Prabhupada ji speaking that uh, Nam Bhajan is Mahaprabhu speaking that is the topmost uh, uh, topmost uh, uh, thing and by this Nam Bhajan only that topmost Siddhi of uh, Krishna Bhajan you will get in your life you will just realize that uh, uh, Krishna Prema in your life by just uh, uh, getting Siddhi in Nam Bhajan this which are actually has told by mahaprabhu that nam bhajan is the top most of all the limbs and mahaprabhu has told this point that in this thing you just need to remember this point very importantly mahaprabhu ji speaking in this you will get sarva siddhi sarva siddhi means sarva siddhi means that krishna prem Mahaprabhu ji speaking is speaking about sarva siddhi to us it means what does it mean actually sarva siddhi means that this siddhi you will not get it is not like that here bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking this vichar that sarva siddhi means that uh, that krishna prem which is very rare still it is not at all impossible you can get that that is actually called sarva siddhi in jatana ji hum ready sir written all the time you just need to do hari naam and no kind of dissatisfaction and no unsatisfactory bhav should come inside your heart all kind all the time you are be feeling complete and full satisfaction should be there and all the time you just need to do hari naam like that hari naam is the topmost that is the topmost sadhan and naam is also sadhya vastu naam is sadhan naam is sadhya vastu as well because in sadhan state it is sadhan and in a siddh state it is by naam only bhagwan we can have the darshan of bhagwan so that's why it is sadhya as well the object to be attended that is called sadhya naam is actually when when is coming in the form of sadhan and naam is actually sadhya as well that in all the condition naam is actually that is called with the topmost permanent state we will be take the ashray if we someone actually is getting uh, uh, getting it then we can understand that uh, the kripa of naam when it is there in the nibrit state all the time inside our heart then that uh, in bhajan ras it is written then it will be just uh, giving us that topmost prema in bhajan ras it is written that sarva subodai the topmost mangalmay vastu will just get uh, manifested in front of us bhakti no thakur is actually just written this point in front of us and just manifested this point in front of us sarva subodan 
नाम जस्ट मैनिफेस्ट सर सर्व सुबोदय इज जस्ट डन टॉप मोस्ट मंगल दैट्स वाई कृष्ण चेतो दर्पण माजरन दैट एक्चुअल ग्लोरिफिकेशन व्हाट इज डन इन डिटेल देयर इट इज रिटन ऑन दिस पॉइंट यू जस्ट नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल यू डोंट बिकम सहजिया यू डोंट बिकम सहजिया व्हाट इट इज रिटन चेतो दर्पण माजरन दैट that bo- what bhakti no thakur has written the explanation regarding this hoyte pap sanchar nasan chitto shuddhi sarva bhakti sarva bhakti sarva bhakti dhyan de just understand this point sankirtan hoyte pap sanchar nasan chitto shuddhi sarva bhakti sadan udgam krishna premodgam prema prito aswadan krishna prapti भक्ति नो ठाकुर जी हैज रिटर्न इन डिटेल्स हैज रिटर्न द डिटेल्स दैट हाउ एक्चुअली इज डन means you just need to adapt automatically you have to adapt that that slowly steadily that all these four shlokas slowly steadily you need to adapt in your life the in order to just uh, get your bhajan permanent in permanent condition it's very much important baro means you just need to do baran भक्ति नो ठाकुर रिटर्न दिस पॉइंट वेरी केयरफुल that chatur varg will be just uh, feeling it very heinous and after that they will be feeling that it's nothing so like this bhakti no thakur actually is written in kirtan about the glorification of naam bhakti no thakur actually is actually for raganuga devotees is writing everything that in order to understand this point to us about naam only glorification of naam what actually naam is that hari naam it is actually spoken for him naam if he uh, will be just uh, manifesting slight swarup in front of us then what will happen then that uh, so by this everything there is only one point which is coming in front of us that in the life of those that in the life of those that in the life of those that naam bhajan they are getting success in them then for them they are actually the top most devotees actual devotee is 
I was actually speaking previously a few days before this vishya I was actually speaking and in this I was speaking that each and every acharya that who is actually working as an acharya they should be all round acharya that but just by the name or title is acharya and he is just making one drama of bhajan and he is just making a external vesh of acharya externally that kind of uh, acharya all uh, everything the title is all useless it means that he is doing the work of guru he is doing the work of acharya then we just need to understand one point then he definitely he is actually pratishthit in hari naam or not he is namachary or not without becoming hari naam namachary nobody in any condition he cannot do the uh, work of guru acharya it is strictly prohibited to do that namachary is haridas thakur okay but uh, namachary haridas thakur under the guidance of namachary haridas thakur we also have to one lakh hari naam definitely that acharya if if he is not at all doing one lakh naam then he don't have any realization and maturity then he will be doing the work of guru then definitely he will uh, uh, give all uh, wrong things in this material world everything he will be giving uh, wrong teachings uh, in this material world and everyone and every and he will be just throwing garbage in this uh, life so for everyone so that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually is speaking that if we don't have preeti for krishna then we are having nothing and uh, rag bhajan is a very far distant thing krishna da so so naam bhajan is that is the bhakti dharma that is the actual nutrition for our atma and that our maintenance maintenance uh, everything improvement everything it is only dependent on hari naam and how much asakti i have on hari naam that it depends on that that brajwasis brajwasis in all the brajwasis gun in all the brajwasis gun that in actual manifested form in brajwasis especially in the manifested form that bhakti that is called ragatmika bhakti under the guidance of all these brajwasis that is we have already discussed this point under their guidance in bhakti rasam dicin also this point actually has been told अवर भगवान श्री कृष्ण नंद नंदन श्री कृष्ण दैट सारसी की राग that to in order to get that rasa that rag is there attraction is there towards krishna there is some kind of attraction towards krishna if this that kind of when there we will be getting param avisht topmost attraction will be feeling and with full attractive mood we are attracted towards the lotus feet of krishna that uh, that uh, jiva is just getting indulged in bhakti that is called ragatmika vidhan that is called that what is actually uh, getting up from the ragatmik bhakti that in ishta vastu that kind of natural inclination towards that ishta uh, vastu uh, that natural inclination of uh, param avishtata that topmost attraction and anurag is there towards the lotus feet of the uh, your parama vishtu vastu in by this rag mein bhakti only that is called ragatmika bhakti lot of things are there so the thing i was actually discussing yesterday on the basis of that this is there is overall discussion is very much important in this yesterday that anukul and anukul and pratikul what is good and what is not good by just discussing that point we were actually seeing that 
फ्रॉम गुरु पद आश्रय अप टू मंत्र जब ज्ञान आदि एटसेट्रा लॉट ऑफ अनुष्ठान ऑफ भजन प्रोसीडियर ऑफ भजन समार अनुकूल एंड सब आर प्रतिकूल नथिंग इज देयर लाइक दैट मीन्स ये स्टडी आई वॉज टेलिंग दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ अभिष्ट भावना दैट फॉर सम भजन अंग दैट सम आर एक्चुअली अभिष्ट भाव संबंधी रिलेटेड टू अभिष्ट भाव एंड सम आर प्रतिकूल टू द भाव एंड सम आर अनुकूल टू द भाव इट मीन्स that they are not at all pratikul as well as not at all anukul as well and uh, whatever nishta vishta bhav or relationship that actual inclination towards at krishna yesterday i was discussing on this point that some are sadhya and sadhan some some are like where sadhya and sadhan both are actually important in that means that when uh, what is sadhan that is sadhya only only there is a difference between maturity of your uh, sadhya and sadhan that's it and some things are like that like uh, that some upadan karan of uh, prem and it will also become the swarup of prem in our sadhan bhajan some having the nitya karan and some for them some bhajan there is only one indication regarding bhajan some are like uh, it will just uh, deliver us and some things are that they will be just uh, doing blessing on us that they will be destroying us and some things are like that it means upkarak and apkarak means they will be doing a good on us blessing on us and some things will destroy us so just by categorizing all these things this all just by categorizing all these uh, uh, things that kind of that's the uh, first adhyay of the chapter i have already told you in uh, front of you this kind of chapter in front of you i am telling this so that yesterday i was discussing from god ganesh desh deepika there are some points and uh, so these points i have just uh, taken up tasya sadhya everything sarvest bhav bhajan samoh sadhan sadhan roop from guru padashray up till mantra jap dhyan aadi etc sam anushthan of bhajan is there and for sadhya prem that upadan kalan you are speaking that you can just speak that it is related to the uh, sambandh related to bhav and when uh, with anuchit with full uh, naam sankirtan you have to do that is the actual rules and regulations of shastra that nitya kirtan that uh, krishna naam maha mantra jap hari katha kirtan you have to do that so that you can get the top most siddhi in your life that is the actual uh, uh, duty of yours you have to do the topmost duty to do hari katha kirtan gaur ganur desh deepika also about this this is already written that what the kind of vichar i am telling you in gaur ganur desh deepika according to that this uh, this already has written in gaur ganur desh deepika that what kar kavi karanpur has written that according to this ukti that in order to get established in siddha swarup those who have to do anusaran under the siddha swarup then according to that in that siddha swarup those who are actually doing anusaran those who are actually doing the anusaran of those uh, uh, devotees who are actually in siddha swarup for them this mantra jap for them this mantra jap uh, just by taking darshan of the mantra jap and all other kind of they have their mantra jap darshan they are also doing mantra jap and they have their mantra jap darshan i have already seen that practically but then they are if they are doing then we also have to do that so that what is actually relationship with the bhavs what kind of bhav you have for uh, that uh, parama vishta vastu you have to do the mantra jap according to that and what is that krishna naam maha mantra according to that what their vichar is actually written there in shri gaur ganos des deepika this already written in that that uh, in govind word the actually go means our sense organs and uh, our sense organs and our mind whatever uh, kind of uh, we have uh, we have kind of uh, prabhav on this effect on that that it is uh, taking out all the words and it is actually sitting there and with gopi bhav that uh, that kind of gopaniya bhav which is there that in order to protect that gopi bhav that is the actual work of krishna that's why krishna name is gopijan vallabha that inside the heart of gopis that kind of topmost secret bhav 
love towards Krishna in order to protect that bhav inside their heart that is called Gopi Janvalab. That is why Krishna's the second name is Gopi Janvalab. So this Govind word Go means that your sense organs, that all your sense organs, that kind of bhav, that entrance, some kind of uh, different separate effect will come. Transcendental effect it will there. That's why his name is Gopi Janvalab. That he is protecting the bhav, secret bhav inside the heart of the Gopikas. That go, Gopi Gopinath, that inside the heart of all the Gopikas, he has just uh, uh, taken the uh, separate transcendental effect of all, in the heart of all the Gopis. That's why he is called Gopi Janvalab. That he is actually very much uh, 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 likable by Gopikas. And he is the topmost pran of Gopikas. That is why he is called Gopi Janvalab. So what is, whatever be the case. So, Nisht Abhishta Sambandhi, that Krishna Naam, it is very much important to do. That is the actual meaning. That Abhishta Sambandh Krishna, that having relationship, Abhishta relationship with Krishna in this, that Ashtadha Shakshar Mantra uh, and Dasha Shakshar Mantra, both the mantra you can see in this material world. And Ashtadha Shakshar is there in this material world. And Dasha Shakshar is also there. And Mahaprabhu what has got from uh, that mantra. So this topmost mantra in this, that Ashtadarakshan mantra, Bhagavan. Bhagavan actually is a Prakrit Kamadev. By his, that in his, all his uh, transcendental sense organs, it is actually explained in this mantra. So, so that which is Nij, nij Bhaj Upayogi, Naam Guru Roop Leela etc. of Krishna, what kind of sadhan you have to perform regarding uh, Krishna's Naam, Dham, everything related to Krishna and paraphernalia. That's just by speaking it as an Upadhan Karan, that all kind of uh, sadhan Bhajan Ang, we can speak that uh, as uh, uh, the sadhan Ang, sad limbs of sadhan, that all kind of Lajja, etc. different kind of bhava what are actually getting up for Krishna that by speaking the name fame paraphernalia of Krishna where it is like when you will be doing Kirtan with that Kirtan along with that Bhagwan's Roop, Gun, Leela everything will get manifest in front of you and you will just get mad by the Anand of doing Krishna Kirtan and Krishna Prema you will just get into the ocean of Krishna Anand that's why so whatever all the devotees are there they are all the time, uh, all the devotees are actually just uh, doing Shravan Kirtan of your uh, Leelas and uh, Dham, what you have done, Leela in the Dham and they are just getting into the Parmananda ocean of blissfulness by doing Shravan Kirtan of your Harikatha Kirtan all the time. So according to this, that is the actual... Uh, uh, that is the actual proof of and solution of all the Shastras which is written there. That is the actual duty of all the Jeevas which they need to perform. That is called Raganuga Bhakti. That is the top Muslim in the Raganuga Bhakti. And Smaran, Shravan Kirtan and after that Smaran is there. That by doing Mukhya Smaran, that Smaran, that Smaran, that they are actually all uh, under Kirtan only, Smaran, Shravan and Kirtan. If you are taking an actual uh, in-depth which are Shravan, Kirtan and Smaran, these all simultaneously appears at, uh, at the same time. They are actually all intercrossed with each other. Prabhupada speaking to us that if we want to do, do Shravan, then definitely someone has to do Kirtan. It means that for our Shravan, Someone has to do Kirtan. It is natural, uh, naturally, it is, uh, has, he has to do Kirtan. If some Mahapurush, if some Mahapurush, some Mahajan, if he is doing Kirtan, then we can do the actual uh, Shravan. That kind of uh, possibility of Shravan can be done. Otherwise, it is not at all possible to do actual Shravan. That's why, just by doing Kirtan, Shravan is actually related to that. If Kirtan is not there, then Shravan, how it is possible? And with Shravan, al alongside all the time that Smaran will definitely will be there inside the heart. If Smaran is not at all coming, then definitely Shravan you haven't done at all. So, 
श्रवण कीर्तन एंड स्मरण ऑल दीज थ्री आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू इच अदर इफ इफ आई दैट गुरु वर्ग हैज जस्ट टोल्ड मी हैव टॉट मी दैट बेटा यू सी दैट इफ यू आर डूइंग हरिकथा कीर्तन देन देन दैट यू आर एक्चुअली इंस्ट्रक्टेड बाई गुरु वैष्णव दैट यू हैव टू डू कीर्तन so what what kind of kirtan you have to do which kirtan you have to do that before you were what you have heard from the lotus mouth of guru work that that from the short panta that kirtan what you have heard you just need to do that kirtan under their guidance and apart from that whatever you are doing on your own then some actually is doing some other kirtan that kirtan he is doing no it's not like that just like foolish people you are doing no not like that you have to do kirtan if you are actually instructed to do kirtan then you can understand this point that that according to the shrot vani we are instructed to do the kirtan according to shrot vani that our our actual instruction that it is actually to do shrot vani kirtan and other kirtan uh, that personally we are doing it is not like that so if i am under the guidance of gurudev hari katha kirtan i have just started under the guidance of gurudev then that then that by the, then that by that kirtan that whatever hari katha and kirtan i am doing in that kirtan inside my heart inside my ears is also going in my ears that my katha myself is also listening that i am in the absolute state i am speaking in a bonded state i am not speaking that material person is speaking not like that so hari katha along with when you are speaking that this hari katha will definitely come in our smaran also we are doing shravan as well as smaran and when i am doing shravan then what i am speaking that hari katha how i am speaking if my memory is forgotten if my consciousness it is hari katha is not at all coming then how it is possible i am speaking so it is actually proved here that shravan kirtan and smaran they are all interrelated all the three are interrelated to each other shravan kirtan and smaran definitely they are interrelated to each other that is the top most point if there is actually no kind of uh, uh, problem and difficulties to understand this point because in smaran the limb of smaran it is actually the kirtan akhya bhakti uh, limb only it is under the guidance of kirtan kirtan akhya limb of bhakti only shravan ang is also under the under the belt of kirtan akhya limb only so that's why shila vishwanath chakritya garudi was speaking that in this present kaliyug kirtan ang those uh, those who are doing kirtan ang they are only have the right to do the actual uh, shravan and smaran ang ji was saying by speaking that may be other kind of limbs of bhakti you have to perform that is actually comes under the uh, belt of sadhana limb of bhakti only that but without naam sankirtan without the grip of naam sankirtan by not taking the support of naam sankirtan if you are doing other limbs of bhakti then it will not become Uh, bhakti this is the actual prescription of jeev goswami pad at present in this kaliyug that kirtan ang only bhakti adhikar you will be having when you will be doing kirtan why because there is one reason behind it that each and in an each and every bhakti marg by all the sharva shastra the kirtan adi bhakt bhakt those who are doing kirtan that only they can do the actual pure bhakti in each and every shastra it is written like that that kirtan is the topmost ang limb of bhakti mahaprabhu also has told this point mahaprabhu also told in shiksha ashtakam like this mahaprabhu also told this point that param vidyate shri krishna sankirtanam and now the actual question coming that mahaprabhu why actually speaking like this why he is not speaking like that it is all the same no narayan and krishna oh yes it is same but bhagwan chaitanya mahaprabhu why actually speaking like this there is one reason behind it what is the reason that narayan with narayan that all the kind of exchange of rasas is not at all possible there is there are some limitations with narayan arai ras arai ras 2 and 
you rus you can exchange with narayan but with krishna you there is no kind of uh, incompleteness if someone actually wants to connect with krishna then he can connect with any any kind of bhav it is not that by his own uh, uh, own uh, will and uh, he will not be having any connection with uh, any kind of demigods or something that is that's why it is the param vidya shri krishna sankirtan by doing shri krishna sankirtan that is the top most of all and uh, in this naam sankirtan that all everything we will get that is param vidya te shri krishna sankirtan that is a very important point which you need to understand by the by just uh, getting this point we were actually will be discussing this point on the basis of this and definitely it is true only that param vidya te shri krishna sankirtan that the gopikas which are having gopi geeta who actually is just uh, speaking this gopi go in this gopi geeta only the actual bhav of gopikas actually you can see in the topmost uh, manifested form you can see that's why param vidyate shri krishna sankirtanam you just understand this point that this is not speaking krishna sankirtan by speaking krishna sankirtan if i we can see that is absolute then it's okay that is krishna sankirtan is absolute that krishna sankirtan for gopalaks also we can get be nand yashoda also we can have so that's why krishna sankirtan we are speaking but here that param vidyate shri krishna sankirtan it means that shri vid shrimati radharani it is actually connected with that bhagwan that actual glorification of bhagwan is there they we just need to do the actual glorification of the kirtan of that uh, glorification of bhagwan vid radharani so so those who will be actually following this path they will also get that uh, here shri doesn't mean lakshmi devi shri is actually shrimati radharani that param param vidyate shri krishna naam sankirtan that is the actual secret point what you need to understand so vishuna chakravarti pad he is actually in this uh, ragvar muchandrika is discussing that he has taken this special agra by discussing it why what is the reason because raganuga bhakti especially the the actual secret siddhant vichar of prem bhakti that the prem my seva of bhagwan the secret uh, solution and treasure it is already there in the heart of gopigas so that's why in order to exhibit in front of others it is impossible but vishnu only vishnu chakravarti pad has just exhibited this in front of us and with lot of patience and he has just described this i know that it is a very difficult book in this condition by not getting up to that point just by speaking all this commentary and by language it is not at all possible uh, to understand the point written in this book you just you have to just uh, get the kripa of uh, vishnu chakravarti pad and today i will be just giving up till rest up till this point and on the basis of this point only what mahaprabhu wants to speak i will be speaking it tomorrow on this point i will be discussing it tomorrow in brahm samhita this shloka it is written this is a very nice shloka also if govindo ka attraction if you don't have any attraction for govind then who is actually foolish number 1 in this whole material world that they are not at all feeling any attraction for govind charan then how he can go to govind so that's why आलोल चंद्रकूल सद्वनमाल्लवंशी रत्नांगद प्रणय कैलिकलास श्याम तिबंगलित नियत प्रकाश गोविंदमादिपुरुष तमह भजा वाचकुर्वश कृपा सिंधु पथिता पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो